What's going on guys, T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Advanced Warfare Gun Guide. Man, it has been a while since we've done this series. But anyway, the point of this thing is to break down each gun in the game in three minutes less and I'll give you guys the most important stats, info, and recommended setups to help you guys do better in multiplayer. So uh, today, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the three new weapons that was just recently added into Advanced Warfare and that, my friends, is the new STG 44. Yes, that's right guys. So uh, starting off here with the iron sights overall They're pretty blocky. They're not totally unusable, but they do block a lot of your vision So I prefer a red dot sight personally and I would kind of you know recommend it to most people out there Like you can deal without it, but it definitely helps out if you run some sort uh, of optic on it now a uh, next up for the damage This is where this weapon just absolutely blows everything else out of the water It's one of the most powerful weapons in the game So it does 40 damage up close then drops off to 24 damage at a distance Which makes it a three to five shot kill now most assault rifles in this game are three to five shot kills but where the STG stands out is it's got a very very long three shot kill range in fact it's over three times farther than the BAL 27's three shot kill range and everybody talks about how great the BAL is well I mean check that out like that's you know the proofs in the pudding there so this thing is extremely extremely powerful now in terms of the rate of fire, it shoots at 750 rounds per minute, which is pretty middle of the road for assault rifles. Not necessarily extremely fast, but not slow either. The recoil, unfortunately, this is where this weapon kind of falls short a little bit. It's uh, it's very, very high, and it's kind of unpredictable. So there's lots of upward movement, but it's also got a decent amount of side-to-side -side, you know, lateral movement as well. So you have to be careful with that. You have to you know burst fire at those medium to longer ranges. Otherwise, it's going to get away from you. One thing that it can be used to benefit you, though, is if you're aiming center you know kind of mass is sometimes it will kick straight up and give you headshots and help you kill even faster especially at those medium ranges so that can be pretty useful but overall the recoil can be pretty difficult to manage now a uh, next up for the magazine size 30 rounds in your normal mag 45 with extended mags that's about average for assault rifles and the reload speed is about average as well nothing too notable there now moving into my recommended setups for this weapon my number one absolute must-have attachment is the foregrip check out these two recoil patterns right here you guys can see how much of a difference that foregrip makes like that is absolutely huge so uh you know highly recommended there foregrip is an absolute must use on this gun like i said before red dot sight is also recommended two others you guys might want to switch out are the quick draw grip as well as stock those are just kind of like you know generally good attachments on all assault rifles so it depends on how you play but uh you know overall foregrip and red dot sight are, are kind of my go-to setup for this weapon. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the new STG-44 in Advanced Warfare. This weapon is a lot of fun to use, and it's definitely a powerhouse. Like, I think it's in, like, the, the top three assault rifles in the game. Like, they weren't messing around with this thing. Sometimes you get DLC weapons, like, you know, the AE-4 and stuff like that, and, and they're kind of, you know, super unique, and they're harder to use and stuff like that. But the, uh, the STG-44 is a tank and I highly highly recommend you guys get it you know unfortunately you can't unlock it any other way besides getting it in supply drops but uh, you know best of luck for you guys who haven't earned it yet because it definitely is a lot of fun to use so anyway there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to the thumbs up button I truly do appreciate it and I will catch you guys later check out these two videos if you haven't seen yet peace out guys